All right, as promised, I am going to be talking about global stuff today. And uh, the global stuff is the probably going to be the last of the Final Fantasy 15. You guys are almost out of 15, which means that Final Fantasy 4 is going to be coming up after this. And of course, the start of the Warriors of the Crystal, which is, you know, one of the th first few things that we're going to talk about in this video. So first of all, shout outs to the fact that uh, while the Trial of Reckoning and everything is super important, we're going to be talking about the preview. Um, so Chapter 1, Warriors of the Crystal Scene 1 is going to be coming this is going to be your introduction to this story mode, as well as the fact that you're going to be basically getting Lucio pretty quickly, and Joom is probably going to be coming about January 1st, I think. That's not a 100% thing. But given that if, you know, the next couple of weeks are going to be Christmas units and vision cards, then, well, that would slot Joom really nicely into January 1st to start off the new year for Global. And that seems just perfect. So Joom, of course, I'm sure there are lots of, I already know there's lots of people looking forward to her. Lucio is a great free character, and the Warriors of the Crystal is probably my favorite piece of content added to the game in the last year. A bold statement, except it's not. But yeah, this is um, something that I feel overly positive about, so uh, keep an eye out for it. You're saving resources, keep saving resources, you'll be fine. And uh, that's kind of something that we need to talk about, is just uh, what's going on this week. So what else is going on this week? Well, there's the guild raid, damage ranking, sure, whatever. We've got a front line of uh, FFBE, which is kind of interesting, some new quality of life stuff. And we got a collaborative summon for the MAX Manipul. I don't really know what to say about this. Now, honestly, I'm not that big of a fan of the summon. The summon is basically for one or two characters in the game, and I think that's about it. It was a char it was a summon that I pretty passed up, much passed on, because I just am not that big of a fan of ice as an element in the game right now. The summon card itself is fine. I don't think that it is bad, and I think the summon is fine, but the global upgrade has me the most curious about this. I'm curious whether or not globalers can make this work better than JP did. The ice type unit up, the fact that this benefits all units, and hopefully this is not just a printing error, but if it really does benefit all units, then Frivy is getting max HP up, and ice attack up, Barris could get it, uh, Gilgamesh could get it, and... Um, well, heck, I think Ice has a much better chance on Global than it does on JP. That's maybe depending on how Fire, you know, goes in the future. But this, for Ice aficionados, for people who just like the Ice element for whatever reason, this, you know, depending on the numbers, the Vision card might be just worth a get it kind of thing and max it kind of thing. I would wait to see the numbers before I went too all in on it. Obviously, with the Warriors of Crystals coming up, that's going to be a pretty major thing. So, you know, kind of spend your resources properly. And speaking of spending your resources, you should be dropping a lot of stamina into Final Fantasy XV Trials of Reckoning. While not the favorite piece of content, I have to say that just taking a look at this piece, uh, this guy, uh, one of the better ones, I think, of this entire year for a couple of reasons. First and most obvious, the fact that the uh, piece of equipment that you are getting off of it, Prompto's armband, is just a really good accessory that gives human killer to any physical attacks, and there's quite a few units that benefit from that. You could give it to, uh, you know, a ranged unit, a sword unit, uh, the list goes on and on for physical units that are really good. Heck, there's a... Uh, just really quickly, I, I, I'll just show you, and there, hint. Anyway, back to it. Uh, as for the vision cards uh, and the bonuses to deal with that, I think that generally it's fine. Uh, the only thing that I'm kind of looking at here, we have Minwoo, Kill Farm as large bonuses, so some good bonuses there. Oberon's even a medium bonus, and trust me, he is potentially worth running. Same with Garvel or Victora. Lots of good synergy between them and some of the larger bonus units, depending on who you have. Prompto, 
Uh, going to be a range unit, going to be an XL. I think you run him anyway just to get that bonus because it's really nice. And it's great that the free unit is uh, the one that's getting the bonus. RNA and Noctis will give a large bonus too, and that's totally fine. But yeah, this equipment, this piece of equipment, like forget the titles or anything. This is just a really good piece of equipment to get your hands on. One copy, two copy, 20 copies. Nah, not that much. But a couple of plus fives would be the dream three plus fives potentially would keep you covered but you know keep some of your sanity going forward now we're going to talk about strategies which is something that we don't normally do but uh here we are this uh robot boss ice elemental boss 10 or 100,000 hp stats are fine nothing too too scary uh, I think he's generally okay, and if we just take a look down here at uh, some of the attacks that it has, it can decrease defense for a couple turns. That's not going to be really scary. Can paralyze. That's a bit of a pain in the ass from my time with fighting this guy. Can break physical barriers, which, eh, again, not really that scary of a DPS this time around. But his counter does have a chance to reduce damage, which can be a little frustrating, because if you're trying to just kill this thing, which is always the thing in Trials of Reckoning, uh, it's a little frustrating. As for what you're really going to be able to leverage from this guy, well, first of all, status effects. Blind is your best friend. If you have anyone who can blind him, pretty much shuts the robot down. How does a robot get blinded anyway? It doesn't make really any sense. I mean, you could throw ink on the cameras i guess they can't see or maybe jam space balls reference um but yeah if i remember like it made it a it went from being a semi-safe fight to a really safe fight if you could guarantee blind on this guy at all and there are definitely some ways of doing that and that kind of brings us to the overall strategy don't bring strike units don't bring wind units, don't bring magic units, and other than that, you're basically completely free. Um, if you are one of the lucky ones to have Oberyn, you're really free. You can bring an entire spear-based team, you could bring an entire sword-based team, an entire shooting-based team, you could bring a um, pure fire elemental team. There's a lot of good options to bring into this fight. And so much so that I think that this is just one of the easiest trials of Reckoning because it's just so open. I think about some of the previous ones that felt a little more restrictive. And here you have potentially over and making other elemental comps just good here. Or just going with uh, what's already good. I mean, Rain would be a perfectly fine tank. You could build him up to be a little bit physical and he'll probably survive just fine without too much difficulty especially if he is into ex and then you kind of just go with the flow get it done a whole bunch of times yeah this was not one of the ones i found the most difficult i found this pretty easy and pretty newbie friendly but you know that's also coming from a jp player since day one so one of the easier ones if nothing else and uh definitely worth it to end up getting all of that nice juicy juicy equipment so hope that uh, was a little bit helpful if you didn't know the stats you do now and you can plan ahead build the team so anyway that's all for this video thanks for watching take care now if you excuse me i'm gonna try and log into ff14 for i don't know three minutes tonight see ya